Cool, so we're gonna uh, get started. Hopefully everyone can hear me well. Uh, we're, we're noobs when it comes to this microphone system. Um, we're also broadcasting live on Ustream. We have a fairly uh, sizable audience tuned in, so welcome to those people viewing at the comfort of your home or office. Uh, all right, cool, so thank you for coming. The uh, workshop today is called Nailing a High Converting SAS Trial. We're running this off the back of SASTA. Many of you may have attended the SASTA event last week. Um, we have some great people here that we've brought along today uh, who I'll introduce in a moment here. Um, but just before I begin, just a few housekeeping things. If you do need the restrooms, they are down here and to the left. Uh, if you get bored with what I'm saying at any point, the bar is just here uh, and the exit is over here. Um, so I'll start off by introducing the speakers we have today. Um, and I'm really excited to have this group together. So we have JD uh, Peterson from Scripted. Uh, and JD is the Chief Revenue Officer at Scripted. Um, it says a true love child of Silicon Valley. I'm changing this a little bit. Um, and JD has spent or spends his time helping lead hyper growth marketing and sales efforts at Scripted. He was also the VP of Marketing for Zendesk, uh, a great company that we love. Uh, and he helped them drive uh, right through from early startup stage to the successful IPO. Uh, JD's held a lot of marketing and product roles for some major companies, including Marketo and Lyris, which is amazing. Now, Nick Franklin, who I call the Harry Potter of SaaS metrics, self-titled, <laughs> I came up with this myself. He's the CEO and founder of Chartmogul. Nick was number nine at Zendesk? Yeah. yeah, number nine at Zendesk. So he was right through there working in Europe, Asia, uh, driving right through to the IPO in 2014. So Nick joins us today uh, to talk about uh, SAS metrics. This is a talk that you definitely want to hear. Uh, and then uh, we have Guy and myself. Uh, Guy, I've had to write this down because I forget, uh, was the Senior Director of Online Sales at uh, Zendesk, also the CEO of Codesion, VP and GM of Cloud Services at CollabNet. Guy is our uh, CMO in growth uh, and does all of the uh, and leads our marketing team here and, and runs all the marketing that you see from us um, that we're really uh, proud of. Um, I'm the CEO and co-founder. Um, here are our Twitter handles if you're into Twitter and uh, we'll kick it off here. So we're going to start off, I think our time's a little disjointed because we got off uh, a little bit late here, but so we're going to start off and talk about nailing the SAS trial which is the main focus today. Nick's going to take over after that and talk about uh, SAS metrics, and uh, I've had a, a look at these slides. It's, it's going to be a great talk. After that, we're going to do a fireside chat with a real fake fire behind us uh, where you can ask questions if you want, um, and, and Guy's going to moderate that discussion. Then after that, we're going to have drinks, and uh, I'll show you what these speakers can really do, and uh, we'll have a lot of fun. So here we go. Um, so we want to talk about why to nail your SaaS trial. Um, you might refer to this as onboarding uh, in your company. The way we think about um, building a SaaS trial is to one of our sort of key values as a company, which is be remarkable. And we put up two companies that we really admire up here, Slack, Zendesk, and not ourselves, you know, but it, we put it up there for an example. Um, with Slack, uh, it's a product that many of you probably use in the audience. and What's really important here is, uh, is talking about the, the, the value and the sort of mission statement that these companies represent. So when you're signing up for the trial, uh, you know, what, 
what do you want to sort of take away? And uh, we have this brilliant quote, which I'll just uh, quickly find here, that I want to read to you. Guy, where is my amazing quote? So uh, Sam, H Sam Hullick, um, who recently was featured on our blog, he's a UX onboarding expert, and he wrote this about the SAS trial. It's like the grill I bought to start cooking outdoors. I bolted on the legs, screwed on the wheels, and assembled it perfectly according to the manual. But it's a waste of time if I let the grill sit on my patio without ever using it. In the same way, if users don't get value or anything of substance from your product, they won't come back. This is where user onboarding comes into play. And so really, the first impression in your SaaS uh, trial or onboarding experience counts. Uh, and so you really want to be crystal clear about how that uh, product is going to drive value. And so when you sign up to Slack, it's a really simple product that allows you to collaborate with your team. When you sign up to Zendesk, you sign up with this vision of creating this more simple uh, and beautiful support experience for your customers. So you have these ideals when you sign up for products. And with Autopilot, the ideal we're trying to get across and constantly improve is this idea of empowering people. So everyone in this room knows how hard it is to you know, work with developers and set up events and build user profiles and start communicating more frequently with customers. So our whole trial experience is showing you that we can empower you to do those things. Uh, and we put it under this big remarkable slide and there's something really special happening uh, with SaaS companies that clip this axis of affordability and accessibility when you sign up to trials today. And what's happening is you're able to sign up, experience the sort of vision of the application, uh, be empowered, become successful, and then start sharing that application. And it leads to these hyper-growth companies that we're seeing. Uh, so we put this uh, tweet up. I've signed up to trial over 500 apps over the last five years. I'm not easily impressed, but Autopilot just blew me away. Now, we don't put that up as a humble brag, but this is really what we're trying to build when we build through our own uh, trial experience that we'll talk a little bit uh, about later on. We're really trying to think about how do we build a successful customer throughout that trial experience and, and what are the things we can do to assist those people over time uh, to, to drive value through the trial and ultimately lead to them uh, sharing it, so this virality we see here, and increase the overall customer uh, lifetime value. Um, so I'm going to hand over to Guy now who's going to dig a little bit deeper here and then we're going to build out a, uh, a, uh, a SaaS trial uh, live and, and talk you through how we will do that with a, a company that I've recently started. <laughs> um, all right, thanks. So, uh, and first of all, thank you everyone for coming today. Uh, we're excited to have you today. It's our second workshop. It's the first time we're doing a use case specific event. This is about the SaaS trial. Um, and uh, so, you know, hopefully everybody in the room here is pretty SaaS oriented. Just out of interest, how many people here are in a SaaS business today? Okay, so pretty much almost complete. And then how many people here are using um, Autopilot? How many people are using or have worked with scripted before to um, hire and create content for blog or otherwise? All right, so a few. And how many people have used or are using ChartMogul to monitor MRR metrics? Cool. All right, so we got a, a handful. Um, and then just in terms of automation experience, uh, how many people have used marketing automation either for a trial or otherwise for sort of um, three plus years? Okay. And then how about sort of one to three years sort of moderate? And who, okay, and how many people here have never done any automation whatsoever? Okay, cool. So we actually have a pretty um, advanced crowd, I would say. So um, that's good because today we're going to talk about some pretty interesting concepts that uh, can really help you as you build out your own SaaS experiences. So um, that point aside, let's come back to our point at hand, which is um, the second reason why having a, a nailing your SaaS experience is so important for your company. And like Mike described, you know, really, um, this right here, this sort of Venn diagram, speaks to sort of three drivers of lifetime value of customers in SaaS, right? So one is, um, is monetizing customers uh, is one key element that comes out of a high lifetime value. So, you know, one thing about a SaaS trial that converts well is that by converting customers from from visitors into paid users, as well as retaining them and having them grow over time. Um, companies who have a great SaaS trial experience are better at that and tend to do better over the longer term. 
Um, another key point is having a great SaaS experience and a good trial experience. Uh, we all know the most successful customers are those who are onboarded right from the start. People who understand how to implement, understand how to recognize the value and, and, and um, can get there quickly from what the product is, has built in. And so, you know, those who onboard correctly tend to have higher product engagement and retention rates, which in turn means they go on to become repeat purchasers and buyers. Um, so that's a second sort of key element of why having a great trial experience, driving retention engagement, is important for the lifetime value of your customers, which we all know is the name of the game in SaaS. And then the third sort of key element as well that comes out of having a great experience is this virality piece, right? It's the word of mouth that comes when um, people refer you to friends and colleagues because not only they say, hey, this is a good product, but they actually say that was a really cool and unique experience going through that. There's something kind of cachet about it, kind of like going into the, you know, walking into Whole Foods, for example, or into a really nice um, airline lounge. You get that sort of first impression. It also brings across some of the values and the tone and the impression of the company. Um, it's the kind of exposure that no ad budget can buy. So this is the second key reason why having a great SaaS experience is important. And then sort of a third key element as well is, and this is a slide straight out of Saster last week that Mike referenced a few minutes ago, Byron Dieter, the famous venture capitalist at uh, Bessemer who tracks the Bessemer cloud stocks, which have all gone through a pretty substantial change in the last couple of weeks in the stock markets. You know, he, t he ties everything into sort of the five key drivers of SaaS valuation. And this is a little higher level, and this is actually as high level as we get today, and we're going to go into SaaS trials from here. But um, I think it's important to just tie all the way up to the highest level. You know, um, the key elements of driving your SaaS business is about uh, increasing your annual, annualized recurring revenue, um, shortening CAC payback periods, churn, lifetime value of cash. So, you know, first of all, the fastest growing companies that have great SaaS experiences in, during their trial are maximizing conversion as well as experiencing better than average retention of their customers, as well as growth of their customers. Again, back to that point that a great trial experience, it helps people uh, implement correctly from the start, stay there and grow. So that's one reason why having a great trial is important, is it's going to lead to higher growth. Um, second thing is CAC payback period, right? So um, CAC payback is customer acquisition costs, and how long does it take for um, you, from all the costs involved with bringing a customer on board, to start becoming profitable off a customer? It's a key thing that the industry looks at. Um, you know, one thing that having a great trial does is it reduces the upfront sales friction, helps people on board more effectively, and drives that word of mouth growth that also brings more net new leads that are qualified in and helps with a lower cost of acquisition. So CAC payback periods shorten, which is a key thing that the industry looks at in SaaS businesses when you have a great onboarding experience. Third is churn. Again, that's the inverse of, um, of lifetime value essentially, but you know, companies that are onboarded correctly don't churn as quickly. I think that's pretty obvious. Fourth is lifetime value divided by CAC. So it's another way of measuring dollar in, dollar out. If I put a dollar into a company, how long does it take for it to come back out? Good companies return, you know, the kind of the benchmark is you want to be at least um, a $3 in lifetime value for a dollar invested. So $1 in is three out. The best ones get to like $5 out for a dollar in. Um, again, having a great onboarding experience more expansion, more retention, higher conversion rates, drives up towards the best in that category. And the last is cash, you know, obviously by lowering your marketing and sales costs, um, as well as by reducing the amount of implementation effort that goes into bringing on board new customers, you actually preserve cash, it's another key point for growing a SaaS business. So I think it's absolutely not a stretch to say that having a great trial experience as a SaaS company drives all the way up to the five, all five levers of what makes a valuable SaaS company. So let's dig a little bit into um, nailing that actual experience. And um, how do we do that? 